hope this is working. Let's see. Hello, everyone. Tony Embry here. Uh, <laughs> so for some reason, I can't... Um, Okay, now I'm doing it. I'm now live. Okay, cool. Um, for some reason, I apologize, the uh, Facebook is saying I'm temporarily prevented from live streaming to Facebook. So I am doing it on my YouTube channel. So I apologize. And then I will, after this is done, then I'll copy it over to my, uh, I'll copy it over to my channel on Facebook. Anyway, coming, you to, coming you, to you tonight from my Riverview Creative Studio in uh, downtown New Bern, North Carolina. And my name is Tony Embry, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I've been uh, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in August, will be two years. I love it, I enjoy doing the videos, and I hope that if you've watched any of them, you enjoy them as well. My crazy dog is gonna bark downstairs, I don't know. He's probably chasing his tail. But anyway, ignore that if you can. I apologize. So um, I'm going to show you what we're going to do tonight because um, it's hard to show when I go on the down low, down on the down thing. So anyway, so this is a, I could I'll go this way to you, easel card. Uh, I call it an easel card. I'm not quite sure what you would call it, but it's like an easel card. You can see it's kind of cute. Is up there. You can see her. Uh, let me show you how to make it. And I use two different um, stamp sets. I thought it was kind of cute. I can't really go there. Anyway, so the thing about this card is it does, my husband was asking me this, it does fold flat. And uh, yes, it does fit in a uh, medium size envelope. So anyway, so that's that. So I'm going to take us down to, uh, you can see it this way. Okay. And then I want to try to get rid of this. You don't need to know who I am. You don't need to know my lower third. So let me turn this one off. Good. Okay. So now you've got the full use of my, my thing. Anyway, so this is the card and it does close and it does go into a regular size envelope. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to make it. I haven't made one of these in a long time. And uh, let me pull out my bag of tricks. Oh, here we go. We put this over here on the side. So here's our annual catalog, and I will be using this set here, which is called Pirates and Mermaids. It would be really fun to do it with the pirate, but I decided I would do um, the mermaid because I when I when I was looking at, it, I was like, oh, it would be really cute if she looked. She was sitting like on a rock or something, and I was trying to think about the different sets that um, might have a rock or something in, and then I was like, oh. Then I was thinking about uh, different card types, and I thought, oh, okay, I'll do this card because it kind of looks like she's setting something. But anyway, um, so that set we're going to use. And then I was like, okay, well, it doesn't really have enough elements to really give a lot of interest in this particular set. I mean, I love it, but um, for my cards, I, for what I was thinking, I wanted something a little, uh, a little more involved. So I pulled out this set, which is the Seascape Bundle. So it has coral or some bubbles, which I didn't put in that card, but I, and um, all this kind of stuff with little fish. Um, so anyway, so we're going to use both of these sets tonight. So this is the Seascape. And uh, so I'm put it right there. That's the catalog. So I'm going to set this aside and I'll pull out all of this stuff. Um, apologize I didn't do this on Thursday night. I really wanted to do it Thursday night, but I don't know. Something was happening with my video and it just wasn't taking any sound. So these are the two sets that we're going to be using. And uh, let me pull out all this stuff. So we're going to, for the easel card, I've done all this stuff in advance, but I'm going to pull this out because I didn't want to waste time. Most of you guys know how to cut paper. Um, so for this easel card, uh, we are you can get two out of one 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. So um, you would do four and a quarter by eight and a half. So, you know, it's eight and a half by 11. So you would cut uh, four and a quarter uh, on the log side, which is the, this is eight and a half. So you've got eight and a half. That's not showing you. Eight and a half. 
I use this all the time. Okay, so down there. So yeah, so there's eight and a half by four and a quarter. Okay, so then you would score it at one half an inch, one and a half inches, three inches, and four inches from one side. Okay, so that's that part. And that creates the actual base of the card. So this is how it's going to go together. Kind of cool, huh? That's that's it. That's all there is to it. It's nifty. And you put double-sided tape here and uh, go up like this. I'll show you how to do it. But anyway, so that's that part. And then um, the little piece that goes, little piece that goes, <laughs> there we go. little piece that goes uh, here. You can see that. This little piece here it goes here, and then of course it folds down and sticks on. That creates the little place there. Okay, so that piece is four and a quarter by three inches, and then you would score that at one half and one and a half. So that's those two. Okay, I've already done it uh, here. So here's this piece. Okay, so then um, you just have to think about how you're folding it. So I'll be able to get my bow folder. And it's okay to fold it the wrong way because you can just, you know, unfold it and refold it. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Just paper. You know, it works however you want. Okay. There's that. And then this one. And then this one. This. The other thing that I, I like to do in uh, this particular, I brought it up in my other video. When I'm using paper, like this is the uh, Sand and Sea Designer Series paper here, I always take a note as to what uh, actual colors are in here. So there's Blushing Bride, uh, Flirty Flamingo, Melon Mambo, Sahara Sand, Seaside Spray, and So Saffron. So I chose to use uh, the card base of Seaside Spray. And then you'll see I have some pieces that are Blushing Bride. And then I think I have a piece of flirty flamingo in there. But uh, you'll see in a moment. Okay, so I know this is going to end up here, so I'm going to go ahead and take out my tape. Uh, double sided tape. We're going to put that here. Because I know it's going to happen. I know it's going to happen. So. So this is going to be like that. So that's going to go there now. And then uh, the other one. Where's the other one? Just pull all this jibber jabber out. And I'll give you all the dimensions of all these things in a second. So here's the other one. And uh, so this would go ahead and fold it. I love the seaside spray. I don't know if you've used it. Um, but I love the color. So I'm not going to put that on right now because I'm going to show you. But you look at this one, you see how see how I stamped all those little things there. So I'm going to pull out some of my stamps. So I'm going to have all these. I've already put these on blocks. These are the little fish, and uh, these are the bubbles that I didn't do last time. And I've got to find the block for this one. So I took it off. I used it. He is crazy, he's a weird. Here's this one. This just takes a big card. I had it on, but then I'm I'm doing a card for it. Uh I'm doing a card for a uh, live I'm doing tomorrow. So I was designing a card for that and uh so I took everything off the box. And pull all the rest of these things out. So I I went ahead and cut one of these out. Um, I like the fussy cut. So this one's fussy cut. And then I'll show you. I didn't cut the second one out um, because I wanted to show you. So I actually used the blends um, markers. Maybe markers. Maybe not blends. Maybe a combination of the two. Just to kind of give a little extra um, definition to, the, to that. So there's that one. 
but then I, I went ahead and stamped this one. Um, but then I'm going to show you how to do it, how I did it. And then um, I went ahead and stamped this little fish, and it is in the Sahara sand color. It's from, it's from the other set. And then I didn't stamp a sentiment. And then I went ahead and stamped the, the cute little mermaid. I haven't colored it yet. And then um, this piece of coral uh, I stamped in the bride, the blushing bride color, uh, because you'll notice that this one is in uh, 30 Flamingo. And I thought it was a little too bright for me. So I thought, okay. So then I fussy cut, see how this one is cut. And then when I fussy cut this one, I um, just kind of went along with my scissors and made it uh, a little rougher edge so it looks where I cut that picture. Anyway, I spent a little more time on that. And then I changed some of the colors and what I was doing. Uh, with the, with the, these are for sentiments, I think. I have to think about what I'm using all these for because I did this yesterday. So I'm tired. Okay. So um, right now I'm going to go ahead and stamp that that on there because that's what I was in the middle of finding when I started. I was distracted. And I was sharing something with you. You can see all this stuff that I have here. You just amazed so much. But I put it all into, I don't know if you do this or not, but I put everything into a little uh, basket because uh, when time comes for me to actually uh, do something, do a, do a, a, a video, a live presentation, I can't find everything. So I put it all in a little basket so that uh, it'll be there when I need it, or at least it's in a basket, not all over my desk. Okay, so when I was doing this, the reason I'm, I'm, a little bit smarter with this because when I was doing this yesterday, I was designing as designing uh, as I went. I uh, decided that it would be easier to stamp this before I put it together. Okay, because it will it'll look like I thought about doing it. Okay, so anyway, it's a little bit easier to do it um, now, so that's why I did it. And then, uh, okay, so that's this. Uh, the other part is going to, okay, so then I stamp some on here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on here at the bottom. Won't matter because I'm covering up some of it. Yeah, it kind of likes the way it looks. Okay, so then clean this off. And then we'll put some bubbles because we can. Little bubbles. They might not show up on here, but we'll put them on just in case. Put those up there. Who knows if they'll show up? Okay. And then, um, so that's this. Like that. Okay. So that's the bottom. And then this part here, we're going to put. Um, we're going to put this other piece on. So we will put some more. Some more blue. Where is it? Here it is. Just in case. A little bit more at the bottom here. Okay, better. In this case, more is better. More better. But then I will add a few bubbles here because we're going to put some other things on here and uh, maybe the bubbles will work better. Okay, so then I'm going to punch some of these little. Where's my fishes? Oh, here they are. So here's the little fishes. And I like tone on tone, so I do a lot of things in the same colors. Okay, so then this one is up here. Put this one up here. I gotta do one more. I'll do it up here. Well, I'll, be, I'll do it on top of this because this is how I did it before. You'll see that there's some wiggle room so I'll do it up here. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's good. And if I need to do more later, I will. Okay. So there's that. And then I think I can start putting this together a little bit and then it'll probably make more sense to you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on this piece. It goes back here. Okay, yes, and I did it. I did not leave any kind of a border for this piece, okay? So 
this piece back here is sorry about that. three and a half by four and a quarter. So it is that piece. That has the SP two and a half by three and three quarters. That's not that one. Okay, but this piece is three and a half by four and a quarter, and it's a piece that's going back here. So maybe I don't have it written down. But anyway, that's that piece. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to put it like this. Out. But I'm not going to do it the other way. Okay, let me pull out my stamp and seal. Wish I could figure out how I could do music on here. Let me put the lights in the background. A little music to the Gilligan's Island or something. Okay. If you want quick, you don't want to watch my videos because I, you know, I. I have so much fun doing this, and uh, you know, I, I hope you enjoy watching me. That's crazy, crazy. But don't you like the waves? This paper just—it just looks like looks like a beach with the water going back and forth. It's really cool. And then on top of that, I decided to put, and on this one, I used the paper that has the um, starfish on it, and then I added some more starfish. But I decided that this. Um, yellow which is the melon mambo i decided that uh these two bright colors weren't doing it for me so i changed it and i decided that i would use the flirty flamingo here so this piece is two and three quarters by four so it is actually on here it says hard stock contrast two and three quarters by four inches and then the designer series paper that goes on top of it is two and a half by three and three quarters. Three and three quarters by two and a half. Okay, so that goes on top. So I'll put that on first. So this one I decided I would do these little, um, this, this on the back because I thought it was kind of cool looking. So I did that on purpose to give some variety to it. It's kind of fun how it comes together. I, I don't know if this card is really called, uh, an easel card or not, but um, I don't know. It's been a couple years, oh, almost two years since I've made one. I can't imagine. Uh, I don't remember what it was called. I might not even have known what it was called when I learned to make it. I, I did it at a, a meeting, a North Carolina meeting that we went to, and uh, somebody taught us how to make it, and that's the, that's the first and only time I've ever made it. Okay, so then. Uh, then I glue this on, and this one actually does have a little bit of an edge on it. And I didn't use um, any dimensionals on it. So if you decide you want to, um, that you would like to make it you know, rise, raise up a little bit, then you you may do that. I did that with the, the mermaid. I actually propped her up a little bit. But there's this one. It is pretty. I love the way these colors come together. Okay, so now it's safe for me to do this part. Okay, so how you do it, if you haven't done it before, is you want to lay it down, right? Because the one thing that you want to happen when you uh, when you open your card is you want your card to, uh, I mean, when you fold your card, is you want your card to fold, right? You want it to fold down flat so it'll go in the envelope. So if you don't uh, do it this way, then it may not, it might not do that. Okay, so. So you want to that you don't want to do it like that. You want to do it like this, like that. So then when it comes up, I'll call it like this, right? So you want to do it like that, so it goes down. Makes sense. Hard to say this. It's like this. So okay, you'll you'll see in a second. So I'm gonna take take your pick tool, pull this off. Okay, so then, like this, right? And then I'm going to do it like this. Put this down. Put this up. And it's there, like that. Cool. See? That's how it goes. That's how it goes. And then it closes, so it goes flat. That's what that's what you want it to do. You want it to go flat when you make your card. Okay, so. 
did this part, we have another shelf to go through, right? So we have to put this on and then over we have to do it like this. So this has to close too, so you have to put this on. This has to go down, right? So I put the bottom on first. That's just me. So I have to put double-sided tape here and I have to put double-sided tape there. Okay, so just think about it. Turn it over that way. Do it like this. And then you put your double-sided tape here and you put your double-sided tape there. I have uh, done this incorrectly before, so if I keep repeating this, it's for my benefit, not for yours, because I know you're smarter than me. So you, could, you already have figured this out. You're like, Tony, get with the program. We're way ahead of you. But, you know, I never said I'd be fast. I said I'd be nice. And I said that I would show you cool things that I like to do. So I mean I never I never promised it'd be fast. That I'd ever promised that I would be fast. I just do the best I can. So you guys just enjoy. And you could fast forward later. You can watch it again. Okay, so now it's just a matter of how you want how you want to do it. You could measure if you're really, 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 really precise, but I kind of eyeball it and I look at how it's going to be. So I just put it all like that, right? So it's there. And then this one comes down. This goes down. So you want this to go down. Okay, got it. You want this to go down. You want this to go flat too, so you have to put this on. And you have to put this on do it like this right so that when it comes up it's going to be there okay now I can take this off and I think I could do it without killing myself. Okay, let's see. I can do this without, without sticking it to the wrong place. Okay. There we go. It's stick. It works. It works. But, you know, I'm always surprised. Okay, so now it's just a matter of Coloring some things, putting some things together. Uh, here's this little job I do here. And so I put the coral over on this side more. And then I put this over on this side. So it kind of covers up that whole thing. And then, of course, I'm going to cut one more out. So let me do this one first. And then we'll color Miss Mermaid here. And then this little fishy fishy we're going to put down here. After we put... Um, do our birthday thing. Okay, we gotta stamp those. Okay, so what I do, you pull out that Friday. Oh, here we go. So I was using, this is the other color. I was using the dark seafoam green and the light seafoam green. Stop it, dog. So uh, even though these are stamped, this is seafoam green, stamped on seafoam green. Green, it's a mouthful. So then I just kind of, Play with it a little bit so that it has, and it, it, it's a blend, right? So it'll blend. Gives it a little more depth than uh, just the stamp. Okay. And then cutting it out. Potty. We'll just go back and do it a little bit. Chasing his tail. Dance out. Okay. I know it looks kind of hokey, but it'll look cool when I finish painting it. That is the wind. Tell me when the wind airs. Okay, so uh, fussy cut, fussy cut, fussy cut. Space, or in this case, it's green space, a little bit. 
head out. Like, what is he all about? And then I was like, okay. Sometimes fussy cutting, if I had to do like 20 of something, I, then I would be like, okay, there has to be a better way to do this. But you know, just doing onesie twosies, it's really that bad. So I just cut down uh, just a little bit, not all the way down, just to give it a little bit of a, a cut, you know, so that it kind of looks like it. Maybe it's grassy. I'll just cut a little bit of it down. And, you know, play with it, see what you think. Sometimes less is more. Uh, and, you know, if you're going to put dimensionals or something on it, uh, you know, you, it just depends on what you're doing. So. These are so light in color, uh, and the tone on tone pretty much just really makes it for me. So I do that. Okay. And really, the person that gets your cards is going to be so, so, so excited. They're not going to think about how did they make it. They're just going to be so excited that you thought enough to send them a cool, cute card like this, a little kid, or somebody that loves, a little girl that loves a Little Mermaid. Uh, okay, so then, so this one's even a little different, not much different, but just a little different. Okay, so then this one, I'm going to put a few dimensionals on, and I'll put a few dimensionals. The, the, the cool thing about this, or not, is... Uh, you want to make sure that it'll fit inside an envelope when you start putting them on. But see how this covers? This covers it up pretty much, which I like about it. But when you're putting on, um, when you're putting dimensionals on, you like you don't want to put it over here. So you kind of have to think about where you're putting them when you're putting them on. But so I put them on. I put them on it that I look at it and see if that's going to be in the way that I'm going to do it. Because you don't. And the thing is, if you put one on, you don't want it to be on. You can always, uh, you could always just not take the tape off of it, right? So that's that one. And then I can put one right back here, over here. And then I think I'll take this off and put that on. And then, you know, it's big enough that if I need to, I can, I can sleep, slip one in. You know, we'll do. Okay, so. I could stick one more right there. That would be okay. And when I was doing this last night, I was like, okay. And I put one kind of in the wrong place, but I just didn't take the tape off of it. So see? So that was kind of cool. So I, I really love this piece. That's why I decided to do the um, use both sets because it just adds um, so much more to it. So then this one over here. And by stamping the fish and everything on before, it kind of looks real, doesn't it? So this one, I'm just going to put a couple right here. You know, and there's be the school of thought, well, you know, it's got to go through a machine and it might not, uh, you know, it might crush or whatever. But you could always pay the extra uh, to have to have it hand stamped, hand stamped. Okay, so we have a little bit of space over here, so I'm going to put one more up there. Check it once more. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Put that away. But when I was making this one last night, I put it all together, and then I was like, okay, I need to add a few things to it. This is just not busy enough. So I'm gonna go scroll all the way down. It bothered me that these little side pieces were showing up, and so I wanted to do something to kind of hide them. You know, this piece here ends over here, so uh, I wanted to do something extra, so that's why I added those after the fact. Okay, then let me find my piece for this stamp. There's this one, and then there's another one, another piece. Okay, it's your birthday, it's your birthday, let's see. It's your birthday, you are so amazing, you are mermazing. I did these in Memento. Ink, my favorite go-to ink for everything. 
look what we are. This is the birthday one. So this little piece is actually like a half inch by like three and a quarter, but I'm going to make it smaller. These little pieces come in handy. I don't get rid of them. I have to save a bunch of them, but you know, when you're starting to cut, uh, starting to cut paper, you end up with extra hoods. Let's stay up this way with this flip. There we go. I've added more color to my more ink to my drawing tablet. Sometimes it seems. I don't know if the hold stay up is uh, inked up enough. Okay, so let's just go ahead and cover it up before we have a crunch. It's your birthday. And then this one is going to be You Are Mermazing. I think that's what it is. What did it say? What did it say? You are mermazing. Let me go back to the page. Okay, so I will stay up this way here. I hope that I get it in the center. I know people, there's lots of schools of thought that you stay up it, then you cut it out. Well, yeah. But when you're doing a demo, Sometimes it's not convenient to do it that way. But I'll leave it alone. Okay, so a couple digitals. I'm going to use little ones because I can. These ones are so small though. Sometimes it's hard to get them. Get them off, get them off this thing and onto that thing and then they're back. And then this one, I'll just put the little ones. <laughs> All right, dimensionals. Did they make these dimensionals bigger, or is it just my imagination? They seem like they're a little bit bigger to me. I don't know. It seems bigger. Okay, so this one I've got to put on yet because I've got to put the mermaid on. But this one down here I'm going to put on, and then I'm going to do the fishies. Look at that stick. Look at that. This is like getting something stuck on your finger and you can't get it off, you know, like glue or whatever. Okay, I need a new one. Let's see. Here, I'll save you for later. This is why this take your pick tool is a lifesaver. I tell you, it's a lifesaver. Okay, let's see, I have no fingernails because I chewed them in half by holding them. So, sometimes I can't do that. 63, I'm not going to stop. Those are those tiny little things that chew and then I get them off. Okay, so all right, so here's this. You can put it wherever you want, but this is where I'm gonna put it. Okay, it's your birthday. And then I'm gonna put this cute little fishy here. So I'm gonna see where I'm gonna put him. I'm gonna make him stand out. So I'm gonna do uh, a double stuff on him. Double stuff on him so he'll stand out more. You know what the double stuff is? It's what they it's not just for Oreos anymore. It's not just for Oreos anymore. Okay. This will make him stand up a little bit more. So he'll be beyond those other things. So he'll look like he's really swimming in the foreground. So I'll put him here. See him? He's got double stuff behind him. See? Double stuff. Okay, so that's him. And then, uh, we are going to put this other one. We're just going to glue her on because uh, we're going to stick the mermaid. So I'm just going to put a little bit of um, jibber jabber. What's this called? Stamp it. Let me put some stamp it sooner on it. Yeah. This stuff. This stuff. And then I'm going to put this like right. Almost in the middle, a little off center, not quite. Okay, cool, huh? And then we could put the "You Are Mermazing" over here. Normally, I would put the focal point uh, first, but before I do this part, but because I already have been there, done that, I've already designed it, so I know what it looks like. I'll do it in this way. So all we need to do now is uh, 
unless we decide to add some starfish, but you just never know that might do that. Okay, so I'll move these out of the way, and then we're going to color this little gal, which I was going to do it before, but since I didn't do it before, I cut her out, right? I was trying to save time, so I cut her out. Okay, find my little jobbers. Okay, so I, I don't know. You know, I used lots of different play with the colors. I used these are petal. These are petal pink. I'm trying to get the skin color. I don't know about you. Where's the skin color? You know what, if it's a little darker, maybe nobody looks like this color, I don't think. Uh, but it's a little darker, it's a little lighter. You know, but you know, it's a personal preference, whatever you like. You do it your way. And do you think, I, I colored this in like she's showing her belly, but I mean, if you did a water to show your belly, her belly, you could color it as part of her scales. And then um, on my other one, I gave her a whole bunch of different cool, uh, Colored hair because you know mermaids they could have all different colors they could have any kind of it doesn't have to be natural it could be bright shiny whatever so I was thinking that uh, I would just give them you know give her really cool hair so that's what I did and then I'm going to use this little pink and I'm going to give her some pink cheeks little pink oh she really pink cheeks I think mermaids have really pink cheeks I thought about it I would have put some more of the just some blend on it. Blend it a little more so it doesn't look like she's so pink. She's got sweet little cheeks there. And it looks like she's, I don't know if mermaids could wear, I guess they could wear waterproof makeup. I don't know if they could wear, if they even wear makeup. Okay, so then I pulled out the markers. You guys ever use markers? I have all these markers that I don't, I don't think, and I don't think about using them all the time. Like, okay, I need to really use them. They're really cool. So this time I think I'm going to give her some green hair. What did I give her last time? The last time I gave her red and pink and purple. Uh, and then I used this marker to give her kind of a cool color. So this time I gave her something different. Oh, I'm going to do her little leaves green. These are fun. Did you guys used to color? I used to love to color. And when I, when I was a kid, but you know, we didn't have all these computer programs. But uh, anyway, I really liked coloring. I'm gonna give her just a little bit of streak. So this part is kind of hard, actually, to color. But you know, you could, your mermaid, you could give your mermaid whatever color you want. But my mermaid's gonna have a different color. And then her tail, what did I call it? Her tail, I'm going to do part this blue color. This, I don't know this blue color. This is, uh, what is it? Coastal Cabana. Coastal Cabana. Blue. And then when you add the Wink of Stella, when you add the Wink of Stella, it just, just really makes it really pretty. So then I just, this is kind of fun. You don't want the same colors to touch. I don't think. That's what I'm thinking. Her scales, they wouldn't be the same. Right? You know, they don't want to touch. So if you were doing anything, you want to make sure that, well, that would touch us a little bit, but put it over here. I don't know what this thing is here. It's going to be a little scale. Okay, so there's that. Oh, I'm going to give her a little bit of that color. Her hairdresser makes color. Okay, so then let's do a little bit of red in there. Her frog head. Anyway, the markers I haven't really played with that much, but uh, some of the colors you have in markers you don't have in blends, and, um, so it's kind of nice to be able to do something. Okay, then I'll give her a few little red scales, not too many. Because red might attract a lot of attention in the water. And, uh, you know, you don't want sharks coming after a mermaid. Okay, so there's that. And then we'll do some purple. Yeah, some purple. Okay, we'll do double strand of the purple because I like purple. Purple, purple, purple. 
so we'll do a little bit more purple here, a little bit more purple here, and then the other half of our tail is going to be purple because I want it to be like that. And then we'll do some purple scales because it'll look really good when we put the Lucas still on it. And of course, you know, hey, if you're in a rush, you can just paint the tail and everything the same color. Whatever. Do whatever. Whatever. It's your, it's your mermaid. Do whatever. Okay, so pink. We'll do a little pink hair. Pink. A little more pink in here. Even though it's kind of dark. And then we're going to give her pink over here on this side. go back and do a little more purple. A little more purple. And then I'm going to give her a purple color. Okay. And then, oh, I already did purple there. Let's do some pink on her tail. And then I'll do some Lancastella. And you will be surprised. It looks so cute. It's a little girl. I just love this. Oh, good girl. She likes ribbon. Okay. Oh, we should make her top. I'm going to make her top purple. I forgot. She doesn't have shells on her top, but it it's more. It's got to be a color, so we'll make it purple, purplish. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, now let me find my wink of Stella. Here it is. Wink of Stella. And then just voila. Okay, this has to be really pretty. This makes it so 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 pretty. And then we'll do her tail too. Her tail, her fishy scales right there. Her tail. I don't use this very often either. I don't do a lot of little kids' cards or anything. I use the weakest cell sometimes, but not that often. But, uh, got it. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. Oops. Sparkly. Get too close. Sparkly, sparkly. Okay. So now I'm going to put it on this side. I'll put these on this side. This one's covered. This one's covered. A little more pink. Because otherwise, it's going to bend. Bend. Okay, let's see. Put a little bit right there. Okay, so then we'll put her off. We're almost to the end. You guys have been so patient. You're so, so patient with me. And you know, when you watch the video, you can just fast forward if you don't want to see me listen to my me carry on. Okay, so we'll put her. Oops. Pink. Look at that. Is that close? So then, see, it closes. You can still see her. Okay, so let me get out the little uh, pearls. When I was doing this originally, I was going to put a pearl right there by her hand. I thought, oh, that would be kind of cool to have her have a pearl there. But then I decided I didn't want to do that. Um, so I did. I love these pearls. So this one I'm putting in the center of her flower right there. And uh, I have the bubbles there. So I just did that one. And then I have the little bubbles somewhere. Where are the bubbles? Um, hold on a second. Well, I'll go. I apologize for leaving you, but I have them. I just bust out and put them in my thing last night. I thought I did, but I didn't. Where are they? Come on, come on, come on. I know I have them because I used them. I'm bored, I used them. I know what to do with. Okay, I don't know where they are. 
They're probably right in front of you. Do you guys see them? Oh, yeah, they are right in front of me. Right, they were in my basket that I needed. I love these because these are the little opal rounds. Um, but they, they kind of look like water bubbles to fit lots of purposes. So put one here by the Burbade. It says you are Burbazing. Put one up here by the bubbles. Because I didn't have bubbles on those before. I did. I did. Okay, so here she is, you guys. You can see her. I'll change it back to, I'll show you at the end. There's that one. This is the original one that I did. Here's the one that we did today. They look very similar. Very similar. But see, she's a little bit darker. She's probably from a different part of the country because I used a different color on her than this one because um, I was trying to around and see but anyway they're two different ones so these this is the easel card as I call it um, so you'll see all these um, and uh, I think that's it so let me go back to here to my presets go back to my opening so uh, so yeah so here's the one you could see her we just did and she does close up completely and she does fit in an envelope uh, so anyway I hope you guys have liked like this one and uh, those Facebook people I'll put this on the Facebook but it should be on my YouTube now for some reason Facebook is telling me that I'm temporarily disabled so I don't know I don't know what the problem is but I'll just do it on YouTube and uh, go from there all right, thank you again for joining me, and uh, Thursday nights at 7 is my normal time, so hopefully I'll get my act together uh, and figure out how this Facebook thing works before next week. All right, God bless, and you guys have a wonderful weekend.